Hi all. In this video, we are going to see the types of optical fibers. In one of the previous video, we have already seen the principle of optical fiber as total internal reflection. The main parts of optical fibers are uh, core and cladding. And also we have seen various parameters related with optical fibers, numerical aperture, acceptance angle, V number, fractional refractive index change, etc. Now, how can we classify optical fibers? Optical fibers are classified mainly based on the refractive index profile and based on modes of propagation. What is meant by a refractive index profile? It is a plot of refractive index on one of the axes and the distance from the core axis on another axis. Then based on the variation of the refractive index with the respect to the distance from the core axis, we can classify the optical fibers into step index fiber and graded index fiber. And based on modes of propagation, we can classify the optical fibers into single mode fiber and multimodal fiber. Mode means the number of path of light that is passing through the optical fiber. Based on the refractive index profile, the optical fibers are classified into step index fiber and graded index fiber. In step index fiber, we have a step like a change in the refractive index. That means the central part of the optical fiber that is core, in that core the refractive index is constant throughout the region. So while plotting the variation of refractive index, with respect to the distance from the core axis, we can see that throughout the core region, the refractive index is constant. And that refractive index is falls to a lower value at the core cladding boundary. So this N1, that is the refractive index of the core, that is constant in the entire core region that is equal to N1 where R less than A, where A is the core radius. And at the core cladding boundary, this refractive index lowest to the value N2. So while taking this refractive index profile, we can see that the variation looks like a step change. So these fibers are known as the step index fiber. Whereas in graded index fiber, the refractive index of the core is not constant. The refractive index is maximum at the core axis, that is at the center of the core, the refractive index is maximum and from the core axis to the core cladding boundary, the refractive index is gradually decreasing. So inside the core, the refractive index is varying in such a way that n1 into root of 1 minus 2 delta r by a raised to alpha where n1 is the refractive index at the core axis that it is varying from the core axis to the core cladding boundary according to this equation where delta is the fractional change in refractive index alpha is a constant that is known as grading profile index if alpha is equal to 1, this variation will be linear. Otherwise, if alpha is equal to 2, the variation of the refractive index is in a parabolic way. So, if alpha is equal to 2, uh, like this way, that is, uh, the variation looks like a parabolic manner. If alpha equal to 1, it will be linear like this. Next difference is, in step index fiber, we can have single mode and multimode fiber that is step index single mode fiber and step index a multimode fiber both are possible single mode fiber means the number of light propagation is only one and multimode fiber means a number of light ray can pass through it whereas in graded index fiber they are only multimode fibers in multimode step index fiber, a number of light rays are propagating. Here I have drawn only two light rays. Here these light rays are following a zigzag path. At the core cladding boundary, they are undergoing total internal reflection and it follows a zigzag path. 
When it follows a zigzag path, these light rays are touching the core axis. Such light rays are known as meridional rays. Whereas in graded index fiber, the path of light propagation is not a zigzag path. It is not compulsory that the light rays are undergoing total internal reflection at the core cladding boundary. Before reaching the core cladding boundary, the light ray can undergo total internal reflection. Why? Because here inside the core, the refractive index is varying. The refractive index is maximum at the center of the core. And from this center towards the core cladding boundary, the refractive index is decreasing. If the refractive index is 1.5 at the center of the core and if it is 1.45 at the core cladding boundary, in between that the refractive index is gradually decreasing. That is it may be 1.49, it is 1.48 like that. So when the light ray is entering into the core of the grade index fiber, at every point the light ray is moving from the denser to the rarer medium. So before reaching the core cladding boundary, if the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, the light ray can undergo total internal reflection and it can propagate in a helical way like this. These rays are known as skew rays. Skew rays means they are undergoing the propagation in a helical way and during that propagation it is not uh, touching the core axis. These light rays will take same time to reach at the other end of this optical fiber. Why? Because the speed of the propagation V is equal to C divided by L. Where C is the speed of light in air and N is the refractive index of the medium. Those light rays which are moving closer to the axis, here it is blue light ray path that is moving through a higher refractive index so that speed will is small. Whereas this red light ray which is following a longer path but when it follows a longer path it is reaching into a region of lower refractive index and then the speed of the light ray is increasing. So by adjusting the speed of the light ray in accordance with the refractive index of the core at each point all the light rays which are entering into the graded index fiber reaches at the other end of this optical fiber at the same time. That is light rays take same time to reach at the other end of the optical fiber irrespective of the angle of incidence. Whereas in step index fiber the light ray entering at different angles will take a different time to reach at the other end because here total internal reflection happens only at the core cladding boundary. So the lower order modes they are uh, following a uh, small path will uh, reach at the other end first whereas higher order modes which are taking a longer path will reach late. So here Due to this time delay in the different light rays to reach at the other end, the attenuation will be high. Whereas in graded index fiber, the light rays take same time to reach at the other end. So there is no time delay between the different rays to reach at the other end and hence the attenuation will be low. Next, in step index fiber, for a given diameter, the numerical aperture is greater. For a graded index fiber, for a given diameter, the numerical aperture is smaller in comparison with the step index fiber. Next, in single mode step index type, the pulse spreading, that is dispersion, is negligible. What is the meaning of dispersion or pulse spreading? When an optical pulse is entering into the optical fiber after so many total internal reflection it reaches at the other end there can be some changes in the shape of this pulse that is the pulse may broaden and this broadening of the pulse here if the width is delta t here when it reaches at the other end, this delta T, that is the width of the pulse broadens. That is the shape of the pulse is changing. 
due to this change in the shape of the optical pulse at the other end of the optical fiber there can be some loss and that loss is known as dispersion that is pulse spreading if we are considering a single mode step index fiber only one light ray is propagating into that so there is no loss due to the time delay uh, between the light rays so this pulse spreading that is dispersion is negligible in the single mode step index fiber whereas if we take a multi mode step index fiber there are more number of pulses so when it reaches at the other end they can overlap also so they can cross like this so the dispersion losses are higher in multi mode step index fiber whereas it is lower in single mode step index fiber whereas in graded index fiber this pulse spreading is lesser in comparison with the, this multi mode step index fiber one reason is that because in multi mode step index fiber all the light rays are reaching at the other end simultaneously so there is no time delay between the light rays reaching at the other end even though there is no time delay at the uh, in reaching at the other end there can be some other losses due to the variation in the wavelength of uh, light that is known as material dispersion so that is a uh, another detailed portion related with the uh, losses in optical fiber so in short whatever the optical fibers we are using whether it is single mode step index multi mode step index graded index fiber there can be some losses and with respect to the applications we are using single mode step index fiber is preferred for long distance secured data transfer so if we want to send a pulse over long distances step index single mode is preferable whereas this graded index fiber is used for short distance communication so this is a small comparison between step index fiber and graded index fiber the main difference is that in step index fiber the refractive index is constant throughout the pore region whereas in graded index fiber the refractive index is gradually decreasing from the center of the pore to the core cladding boundary and in step index fiber can be single mode or multi mode but graded index fibers are only multi